The numbers may come as a shock, but more than 23 percent of children in Missouri are experiencing food insecurity. Tonight, we begin by looking at just how bad the problem is here at home. Hungry, famished, malnourished, starving. These are battles that 24 percent of children in the Ozarks struggle with every day. Southwest Missouri has a higher percentage of child poverty and hunger than the rest of the state does. For instance, Greene County um, has about a 24 percent rate of uh, child poverty and the, the overall average for the state is about 21 percent. Springfield, Missouri and Greene County have some of the highest rates in, in the nation and in the state um, for, for folks that are in food insecure or just hungry. In fact, about one in every four kids in the Ozarks is food insecure, meaning they may not know where their next meal is coming from. Nearly a quarter of Missouri's kids are hungry or at risk of food insecurity. In the Ozarks, the issue is amplified in the Stone and Taney County areas by a so-called perfect storm. Our Grant Sloan reports tonight. The mission of Jesus was homeless is well known in the Ozarks. On Thursday nights, volunteers pack up hundreds of healthy meals now we get two more in the back here. for individuals who otherwise wouldn't have one, most of them living in extended stay hotels. You know, Taney County and Stone County are actually the highest in the state for uh, poverty rate. And so if you actually remove the economics of, of Branson, um, they would be some of the highest in the nation, actually. Two at nine tonight. Over the past few days, we've been addressing the issue of childhood hunger here at home. Ozark's Food Harvest is one local agency trying to turn the problem around. 30% of the total people the food bank serves are children. As children swing on a playground, three of the four on a swing set may not know one of the kids could be wondering when they'll eat next. About one in four kids in the Ozarks uh, is at risk of going hungry. It's rough. It really is. Shanice Washington knows what it's like to have hungry children. I have went lots of days without eating because my kids need to eat. Even with assistance from the state. I have seven children. Six of them live with me. She struggles to keep a full refrigerator. They eat a lot, like every month. Even when the kids are in school, the week before food stamps come, I have nothing but canned goods. I probably have some chicken or something in there, but it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's not burr, but it's still like, oh my God, what am I going to do? That's where agencies like Ozark's Food Harvest come in. The challenge is we're about halfway where we need to be in order to make sure that everybody's getting enough food to eat. Her hunger takes a toll on a child, impacting not only short-term health, but long-term as well. The effects on young kids from hunger um, are significant. Somewhere in the Ozarks, you'll find a child with a rumbling tummy, wondering when they'll eat next. We have a lot of poverty, um, true poverty in the Ozarks, and certainly Springfield is no different. We have, you know, probably three to five kids a week that we come in contact with where there are food issues, even the family specifically. But the impact hunger has on children goes far beyond a stomach ache. You see effects in their growth, but you also see effects in their behavior. Crosslines provide support to struggling families in Greene County, serving tens of thousands of people every single year. Our Lindsay Klein shows us now more about that, Lindsay. Yeah, David and Jennifer, Crosslines served more than 56,000 people in 2015. It's one of the few food pantries in the area that actually allows families to come in and pick and choose their own foods. Food is expensive at times. Brianna Billings is just one of many who utilize the Crosslines Food Pantry. Places like this, it gives you healthy food and it's free. We want to be um, the savior almost, not really, but the savior of the family to keep that family intact so the kids can concentrate on education because education really is the only way out of poverty. With the help of the community support, the Bridges program is able to fill this room with food and necessities throughout the school year for students to take home for free. Sometimes children don't have food in the evening or on the weekend. Their last meal can be at noon on Friday with the free and reduced price meal program. Assistant Superintendent Dr. Julie Williams says that's why West Plains started the backpack program, sending home full meals for the weekend. The kids that receive backpacks, they know on Friday that I'm going to be delivering their food for the weekend and they watch for me. Michelle Miller says the students and even their families count on that food to get them by. 